Hello everyone, welcome to the video. I'm making this video for um, a company called High Ear, which I bought their uh, scope uh, camera from. Um, basically just trying to uh, show how bad it is and comparing with the, my existing camera uh, for the microscope. So um, initially, just going to walk you through the um, what I have at the moment, uh, as you can see on the system. Uh, I've got an Amscope system, um, 1080x with uh, an Amscope camera, as you can see here the camera is there, and microscope is here, and i uh, just going to focus more, or zoom into, uh, on, uh, well actually it's just this way, yeah, so anyway, that looks, looks fine here, so the object we are looking into is uh, going to be this one, as you can see, my is lower, well, well, maybe 20 percent of my fingernail size. Um, so this is the Amscope camera in here, as you can see. So if I um, increase the lighting on this, you'll see on the uh, screen at the bottom uh, presses there. Uh, the image looks clearer. So if I switch the camera to the main microscope vision. So as you can see here, it's um, a chip actually on my reverse engineering at the moment. Um, yeah, just going to um, make that a bit steady. Anyway, so um, looking at this object in here, you can see how uh, things are actually clear. Uh, just meant me be more focusing. So. Uh, Good, I think I'm fairly okay with this. Just gonna Yeah, so and that's fine. Right. So if what I need, I need this view, which is which is great for me at the moment. Um, also notice if I put my hand in there. Uh, the refresh is quite quick. This is the Amscope camera, as you can see. I'm uh, just going to focus on it more. Um, if I move the object in here, left, right, up, down, it's quite good in terms of coming back into um, into the well, just no no loss on the video. The video is quite good. It's quite quite quick. Is okay. Uh, you will see uh, on the left hand side of the camera that the image might be a little bit out of focus, but that's fine. Um, uh, just uh, focusing that further is absolutely fine. I need the other bits as well. Right, so uh, without further ado, let's just look into the uh, package I was sent, uh, well, I actually bought from uh, Armscope. Sorry, not Armscope, uh, High Year, which is the other company. It comes with a CD. Uh, also comes with uh, remote control, uh, power, uh, USB cable, and the camera itself. So, um, what I need to do at the moment is switch off my Microsoft camera uh, and then hook up the power cables. That's the camera in here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so um, just going to change the view back into the bench view and switch off the um, the camera. So deactivate. Good. Now the microscope's gone off. Good. Okay, so uh, let's just disconnect the Amscope camera. And now um, we've got to connect the other camera now. The high ear camera. 
the moment. So. By the way, I'm using an app, um, a uh, 0.5x, just gonna focus this more. Yeah, an 0.5x um, lens to for the video like this. Just going to get away. So, and that looks fine. Right, good. Now I connect power on the USB. Mango bean coffee. I like it. Very nice stuff. I also like Costa, but don't tell Leila, she'll kill me. Okay. Let's just cover off the Amstel camera for now. So I don't want that to get dirty. Good. Now, um, Now you've got everything we need, um, just go ahead and power that up. Got an image, very nice. Okay, so so moving it down here, it's pretty good. Now let's just focus it. It's just switching the view um, slightly there. Notice when I move the uh, image, it's really pixelated. It's quite awful. This looks good. Now we're going to increase the uh, intensity of the light. Yep. Right. Notice here, uh, just to, for the record, this is the high here, uh, 32 uh, megapixel, I think, 2 gigabit. Let's just read this. Yeah, anyway, it's, it's clear on the, on the video, I think, I should say. But uh, this is advertised as a 1080p camera. 30 frames per second on USB, 60 frames per second on HDMI. Um, now, if it's 30 frames per second on the USB, then I shouldn't, uh, I should see the image clearly stabilized when I move my uh, my uh, object, object uh, on the lens. So, notice this: I go up or down. If I'm going up, it's going down. This is how slow this is. And look at that! Oh my goodness, the the pixels are awful. Uh, pixelated, I go left or right, so I'm going left, the video is going right. This is how slow this is, it's about three frames per second or so. Um, really bad image, I don't like it at all. Um, yeah, so it's quite slow, quite jerky, you know, so can't really work with this. If I put my hand in there, see, it takes, my hand is out, 
and now the image is still move. What is this? Yeah, bad. Not good at all. Now also, um, so this is uh, as far as the image goes. I don't really like it at all. Um, it's not really uh, HD on USB. It's, it's not even 30 frames per second. Um, I just don't like it at all. Uh, the drive has been installed, by the way. Also, on the remote side, uh, what I noticed when I used it last time is when you press the power button, it switches the power off. I, this red light goes off in here. But the problem, you cannot press anything to bring this back in again. So the only way to switch this back on again is you have to press power. And when you press that power with that force coming down, the microscope might move this lens and the whole focus adjustment will have to be redone again. It's a pain in the neck. So uh, I, I I just don't see a point of this of this uh, remote really. I mean, they should have maybe put it into a mouse or something, uh, or maybe just more clever into when you press power, it should just keep the infrared thing on going so that so we can actually uh, have a look into it. Anyway, to reverse engineer this chip with this camera is a nightmare because let me show you why. If I try to um, put my tweezers in there, so I'm moving my tweezers and it's just by the time it reaches it's just nowhere near the, the object I actually wanted to place it in so I have to look into the eyepiece like that find where I want to go and then bang um, but it's just it's just about camera really so unfortunately I'm just returning this now, I bought it on Amazon um, yeah so um, thanks for watching the video hope you find this useful. By the way, it's made for a higher company uh, because they need me to upload this for them on uh, the internet. So I'm probably going to do YouTube. I haven't done YouTube uploads, what, for maybe six, seven, maybe eight years now. Um, have I been, I've been busy doing all sorts of things. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you find this video useful and hopefully we'll um, catch you again soon.